In this tutorial, we are going to create a grid with holes. Uh, of course, procedural, so let's just create a grid. And I will set its resolution to 41 by 41 for the time being, but you can change this later on. So first of all, we'll define the area where holes are going to be created. We will restrict this by bounding regions and just define a bounding box. Next, we are going to um, create a pattern. We can, of course, um, choose smarter ways to uh, actually define some patterns. Um, just make sure there is some space in between so the holes don't uh, collide with each other and set the merge method to intersect. So that way you're going to see that the pattern stops with a bit of a border. Next we use group promote which uh, converts the points to primitives. Now, again, we have to make sure that these groups do not intersect. And then we can use the new node called circle from edges. We can set this to primitives. And then if you look closely, you see that all these shapes are converted to edges with eight sides now. And next we can poly extrude the very same group. If you go inside and remove output front, then you get perfect eight-sided holes, which are suitable for subdividing. We can give this some thickness with another poly extrude. We just have to make sure the back sides are activated as well. To finalize this grid, we can subdivide it. And that's basically the trick. Now you could play around with the group range and try other combinations. And what we also can do is we can um, turn this into a cylinder. So let's start from here where we had holes. And um, now we would just use an attribute wrangle to turn this grid to cylindrical coordinates. So cylindrify this. And we do this based on the bounding box. So relative bounding box on the current geometry stream based on the position. But we can multiply this by pi. So let's define each vector component. The position y would just be based on EBZ. So that's one direction on the floor. This will make our cylinder go upwards. And then we can define V at PX which will just be sine of bbx multiplied by cosine of bbx. Next we will define v at pz, which is sine of bbx multiplied by sine of bbx again.
there you go we have a cylinder and it's just that this seam will be open if we feed this into the poly extrude now you see a little gap and to avoid this let's just pre press l to have a bit more of an order here um, we have to fuse this so that should be it we can now play around with pretty much everything we did here 